Howdy doodly people, it's Klein from Brewbrew here. So today's episode, we're going to be focusing on bottle filling. Yay! You know that thing that we all just love doing? Well, some people love it, some people hate it. Um, so what we're going to show you today is how to um, bottle carbonated beer. So it's already been in the keg, it's carbonated, you want to transfer it to bottle. Um, but maintain the, the carbonation in it. So you're wanting to kind of maintain that. Uh, so basically kind of doing it under pressure. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Uh, the benefits of doing that, obviously, is that um, you don't have to bottle condition because it's already carbonated, which means that you don't get the layer of sediment in the bottom because you're obviously not adding any sugar into it. So therefore, there's no fermentation, there's no yeast left over in the bottom of the bottle. So when I mean, you give it away to your friends and it looks and hopefully feels and tastes just like shop bought beer. In fact, probably better. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So what we've got right now is um, we've got our bottle tree thing so just for putting our wash bottles on now i've already given that a spray with star sand and um, we've got some empty bottles here so i've got 10 bottles i'm only just bottling some today because i prefer to leave most of it for me in the keg so these are just for giving away uh, and we've got our bottle washer here um so let me just give you a quick demo so the bottle washing is dead easy so just give it a squish i normally give it about four goes and then plonk it on here and usually actually dip the end of the bottle as well in star sand as well just to make sure that there's kind of no nasties on there leave it on there and that is now ready for filling so we'll get all our bottles done uh, first of all so we'll get them all washed up and um, put it on our bottle stand and then i'll show you how to rig it up all my bottles are now washed so let me talk you through uh, some of the other bits and pieces there's some made earlier and um, so we've got our corny keg here so we're leaving our gas on and I've disconnected our beer out, which would normally go to my taps over here. So we disconnected that. Uh, what we've got is, uh, we've got a little rig here. So we've got um, a disconnect on one end, and I've got a John Guest fitting on the other. And what I'll be doing is, this other disconnect will obviously go onto the corner keg. So essentially we've got two, two disconnects, either end of uh, a bit of beer pipe. Uh, so we've got that, and then the other special bit of kit. So I've just got that soaking in, soaking in some star sand just now. Uh, the other bit that we need is one of these, okay? So that's kind of bottled, to, I don't know what they're called actually. I'll stick it in the description. Um, but that just kind of screws on to our plastic bottles. Uh, so let me just give you a quick, quick demo. So we've got our plastic bottle here. So that will just go on there, screws on, and that's just got a corner disconnect on it as well so what we'll be doing is one end of our beer line will be going on here onto our corner obviously and the other end will be going on to our bottle uh, and using the pressure that will be coming in through the corner so we've got that hooked up to our gas line uh, and that'll be basically kind of filling this under pressure now what we'll do as well is i normally give this a blast of co2 as well so what we'll do is tighten this up um, i've got our gas line here so we've got a gas line gas line here and what we'll do is we'll just plonk that on in fact I wonder can I do that just now and just show you it it's better isn't it so what we've got is we've also got our gas connected up here and if you just loosen this as if you're taking the bottle off the top of the bottle even and you'll see we've got a bit of gas so what we're doing is we're basically just purging the bottle of oxygen so now it's just CO2 in it so we can take that off of there and then what we'll do is we'll um, we'll fill it with beer so I'll show you how to do that now so we've got our beer line here so it's actually a chocolate stout i'm going to be bottling today so all we do is just pop that on here now you'll see that there is slight little bit of flow coming in there so we've got a little bit of stout but it's obviously stopped because it's at pressure so all we want to do is just loosen this slightly and what this will do is it lets the co2 out gradually and as the co2 comes out release the pressure in here which leaves room for the stout to go in now you do want to fill this quite slowly do it too fast and you're going to lose all that kind of carbonation. So just do it nice and slowly. Kind of wait for it to come up. So patience is key here. You can see we don't have too much of a head there, which is ideal as well, because we're obviously wanting to get as much as possible uh, in these bottles. Try and get them filled up. So once we get up near the top, so our foam is up the top, crank it off. Take your beer disconnect off, okay, and you will get a little bit of kind of overflow there. So I've got just an old mat lying on the garage floor here. So that is now ready for our next bottle. And this one here, all we're going to do is take this off 
and you'll get like a slight little bit of fizz, but not much. You'll obviously have some beer left in here. So we just give that a tilt, a little bit of a tap, and we'll get the last of that. Drains out. Okay, so that's one bottle done. And then all we're doing is, we're just on to the next one. So pipe in, gas on, couple of blasts, that one off, beer on. Okay, fill it up like so. And as you can see, that's just really, really simple. Lovely way of getting good beer, which has already been carbonated. So like I say, the, the main, main benefit of this is you don't have to go through that pain of explaining to your friends, you know, there's gonna be sediment in the bottom, make sure you like fill it, make sure you empty it slowly, leave a little bit in the bottom. Um, you know, don't kind of bang your bottles around, otherwise you're going to disturb it all. So you don't have any of that, you can just give these away. There we go, give these away, let your friends be happy. So simple way of bottling under pressure. So hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, ding, ding. remember to subscribe. There's a little button that says subscribe, you should do that and then you kept up to date with all my amazing videos. So you have to do that. Subscribe now. Thank you.